Billy the Artist here and welcome to my how to draw videos. Uh, we've done a number of Simpsons characters already so this is the final one of the family. Uh, so we've done the dad and the son, we've done Homer and Bart, we've done Lisa and Marge and now we're finally doing Maggie. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed these previous videos. Do check them out, do like and subscribe, but check out the how to draw playlist because these are all in there. Along with pencil drawing ones as well. <clears throat> so you can see we've got some of the life of pets and the boss baby. So again, these are just to encourage and help you. But I use these techniques and also other cartoon characters we've done, Pokemon and uh, Danger Mouse and various others. But I use simple techniques of using boxes and shapes and triangles to actually lay out these images to encourage you to draw. And this is how I learned to draw drawing cartoon characters. But it also means if you check out my portraits uh playlist you'll see high-end drawings that take take a long time and some of my old paintings take a good number of weeks whereas this drawing of a comedian named Bill Bailey uh, I just saw that I thought that's an interesting image went to actually see the comedian it was very funny and this drawing took 24 minutes and you can see this in real time in the how to draw playlist so again you can go from learning to draw simple stuff here is someone with not much hair more hair than him on the top but not round the back and you can then over practice over many years get better and better and enjoy your art to a fuller way and you can do portraits and drawings but anyway today we are doing Maggie the baby from the Simpsons so again this looks like when we had to do Marge quite a complex drawing we've got a full body here uh, we've done just heads and then head and shoulders with uh, heads with Homer and Bart and then we did head and shoulders with Lisa with Marge Simpson we had the massive blue beehive that she has but also her shoulders and some of her arms but now then we went uh, we've now got a full body so again don't let the actual shape and size cause you a problem uh, and thinking oh I won't be able to do this so again I'm going to draw a line down split your page into quarters and then you can just draw shapes so the back of Maggie's head and the top kind of comes across so you want a box and then it's only about halfway so there's a big box for Maggie's head again if we draw another box down and we can see here there's a main body if we draw a triangle shaped box there's her baby grow with her feet inside and then if we draw there's a box for her left hand and another one for her left arm that's going behind I can add details in a moment and then we've got to have another box here for her right hand and then her right arm so inside that box we've now got a diagonal line coming down for a body so we can ignore that line that's coming off so here we've got a simple V but we want to put our eye in now so we've got the circle that's going to come in here and that's Maggie's eye up from her hand and from this hand we've got her neck that's just another nice simple box and we can draw those shapes in and then we need to have over here kind of halfway across in this section an egg shape an oval and then a big letter C and that's the dummy and then you can do a lips that are going to be sucking on and then onto the dummy and then we need another circle going around and Maggie's nose so these are just simple shapes a nose is just a little box or a very elongated C again now we've got a little bow in her hair so you've got a little circle and then a triangle if you think of a bow tie it's just a circle with a triangle and we can just round those corners off quite simply and above it there we know we've got this triangle for a hair and you've got coming off the back of a neck 
little triangle coming up from a neck here so we've got this edge of her eye we can see where her neck is you're going to want to D without the bar that makes the capital D like we did a letter C for a nose you do a D for the ear and you, that's how you make the shape so we know now that that triangle is going to go there that triangle a little box shape if you imagine a box there and then we've got another triangle there for that hair triangle there for that hair and this one that goes up you can imagine a box going over and then you've got a line coming off from the bow that forms the top of that triangle that then comes down and then you need a triangle coming out here and you know you can see with the imagine the line coming down off the top of that triangle to the edge of the eye and then coming out from that eye up to where the bottom of the bow is you've then got the edge of Maggie's hair now here just to the right we're going to put in the center Maggie's pupil and in a right eye it's above a nose but it's a little bit higher than this one and off the center again so there very quickly very lightly we've drawn in some very very simple shapes I'm going to start drawing around Maggie's eye and we'll put a pupil in and then we'll do this eye and put a pupil in and then a C makes Maggie's nose so straight away you can see there the eyes leap out from the drawing for you <clears throat> but you've already got all of these interesting shapes so if you draw another C now that's the bow but rather than doing a solid triangle they've got rounded corners so if you start at the top and do a big C and then finish it off and again this one do a line at the top curve it that's like another C but with top corners so you're just using simple shapes again we'll go from here curve Maggie's hair out over the triangles you've already drawn your lines down so you can confidently go over the lines with your felt tip pen and bring that down and we won't go too far now for an ear remember it's a D without the bar and then you've got a bit of a curly letter T and that's the inside of Maggie's earlobe and we can draw the line down there that's the edge of Maggie's neck we can do the edge of the collar that joins onto Maggie's hair and then here you can see that Maggie's mouth comes in just where Maggie's eye is so that gives you the point where you can draw the bottom of her mouth out and then you can draw the curve for Maggie's collar and the other side and that's just how quick and simple using these shapes you can then start to fill in if you come from their eye just down over a little bit from there and then you can fill these lines in of Maggie, Maggie's mouth now again if you if we start from rather than carrying on the line here if we start with the handle of the dummy the loop it's just a big capital C that's how simple it is and then you can start here and follow your ellipse line and there you've drawn the dummy and there's Maggie appeared so what you may have thought was quite a complex shape isn't so bad now again all we've got here is a box for Maggie's hand so we can see now that Maggie's hand comes down and a finger is inside this triangle of a hair and you've got the hand coming round so the bottom of a hand where like this part here <clears throat> is at the bottom of this point so if we do the edge of a sleeve and then go up to there where the finger is and bring the finger round and then you can do Maggie's thumb that goes up to the neck and then bring it down and then you just put the little crease line in a hand and you've got a shoulder and the shoulder line is going to come round past the fingers 
and you're just doing a big U. So if we just do the little bit of that cuff there, you're doing a big U and then just put a line inside and that's Maggie's arm. Nice and quick and simple. Again, same thing on this side. You can see where the neck comes down, it goes in between the two fingers. So you've got the main finger there and then the top finger and then a little finger outside. And that comes down and the cuff lines are on pretty much the same plane, the same line. You can even put that line in there. You can do down and the thumb goes over and then it joins. All that's within the simple shapes that you put down at first. A little wiggle for the cuff. And again, now we've got a U coming from this little finger down, match up on this side and join on the curve. So you just do a big U. And that's how simple Maggie's body is. Now, you've got this funny shape <clears throat> for the rest of Maggie's body. So if we just draw the edge there and a blob going down and then that goes to the floor and you can just do a wiggly line all the way to the end of the triangle, back up and then that goes to there and then you just got and then a knee line and that's how simple it is to put the foundation down first using the shapes and then you can just draw over everything with your marker pen and you've got it in place and you've placed all of Maggie in the page she's not off like any of the other drawings and she's in the center and you've done a really good drawing very very quickly that's taken eight nine minutes so what looked like a very complex shape goes down very very quickly now I've missed one bit off again nearly did it on Lisa nearly did it on Marge doesn't happen with Homer and doesn't happen with Bart because it's just on the ladies so we'll get back to that in a second so anyway I've just rubbed out the pencil line so it doesn't dirty the yellow pencil crane in a minute but I have forgot Lisa's eyebrows not Lisa Maggie's eyebrows even like I nearly did on Lisa she's only got three so you can just ping the eyebrows up and then you can colour her in <laughs> so again start use the side of your pencil and you can fill in rather than doing it like this use the side of your pencil and you'll fill in a bigger space quicker you can of course use uh, felt tip pens I quite like pencil cranes well, I did the Pokemon drawings um, with a set of cheap felt tip pens from Poundland or a dollar store or a thrift store you know just the cheap ones that you you can pick up for you know a pound or a dollar and it's really good fun because you've got access to drawing materials very 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 cheaply and you can have fun and it's all about just using techniques to learn to put everything down you haven't got to have very very expensive felt tip pens or <laughs> expensive paints again I'm just going right over the lines for a hand you don't have to fill in around each bit you can go over and then if you want you can go over the black lines again if you want to but you can see that looks pretty good and groovy now Lisa's dummy is a kind of deep reddy orange and with pencil crayons you get to you can mix the colors if you want so yellow and blue can make green and you can mix shades and all kinds whereas with felt tips you use pretty much stuck you can't mix colors as easily so now we've got this lovely light blue so you can see I don't know if you can see there but where the yellows come over you've got this nice little bit of green going on and so that's what you can get with pencil crayons Whereas with felt tips, you're stuck with the colour. But with felt tips, you can fill in a large area flat very, very quickly. Because uh, you can get very, very big nibbed felt tip pens. 
but really it's down to choice and ultimately just have fun whether you choose to use pencil only pen only felt tips pencil crayons art about just having a lot of fun being creative and developing your skills so anyway i hope that you have enjoyed seeing maggie done now she's finished and complete and that's my simpson set done oh no it's not nearly oh nearly 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 you've got to do the bow and maggie's hair nearly forgot anyway that's it i hope you've enjoyed that that's been about 12 13 minutes from start to finish a very complex shape please do like and subscribe for more how to draw videos and my painting and drawing time lapses and enjoy and share with your friends but most of all enjoy your drawing and your art take care ted Hawk.